Division of Vocational Rehabilitation is pleased to share with you about pre-employment transition services. As you may know, since the Rehab Act of 1973, state vocational rehabilitation agencies have been required to work with education officials to coordinate transition services. These partnerships have proven to increase positive post-school employment outcomes for young adults with disabilities. We are excited to share that the reauthorization of the Rehab Act and the passing of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act of 2014 has established a new emphasis on the importance of those critical VR school partnerships to promote early engagement with students with disabilities expanded the population of students with disabilities who could receive service, as well as the types of services that VR agencies may provide to students with disabilities. It also requires that vocational rehabilitation agencies set aside 15% of their federal budget specifically for pre-employment transition services. This is a Regional Transition Consultant, or RTC, with the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation. We have RTCs assigned to support each of the nine educational service districts across the state. This is an RTC assigned to support one of the nine ESDs. Their job is to help support the schools in this educational service district, or ESD, to ensure availability, accessibility, and coordination of pre-ETS group activities. This is a vocational rehabilitation counselor liaison assigned to work with a high school. We have VRC liaisons assigned to all secondary schools across the state. VRC liaisons support individual students on caseloads to meet their employment-related transition goals. Their job is to attend IEP and IEP planning meetings, attend parent nights, assist with transition or resource fairs, and attend regularly scheduled check-ins with your staff. Now that you know the roles of the Regional Transition Consultants and the Counselor Liaisons, we want to give you an opportunity to ask more specific questions about pre-employment transition services. What types of pre-employment transition services are available? There are five pre-ETS service categories. Job exploration are activities that foster motivation, considerations of employment opportunities, and informed decision-making regarding career options. Self-advocacy training helps students learn about rights, responsibilities, and how to request accommodations or services to support competitive, integrated employment. Counseling on post-secondary education are activities that promote awareness of opportunities within comprehensive transition or post-secondary educational programs at higher education institutions. Workplace readiness training provides students with opportunities to learn about and develop social and independent living skills. Work-based learning experiences are activities that provide opportunities for students to use a competitive, integrated workplace and real work setting to gain knowledge and experience that will help lead to future career opportunities. Are these services only for students receiving special education services? No. Any student with a disability, age 14 to 21, who is currently attending or enrolled in an education program is eligible to participate. That includes students who have an IEP, a 504 plan, or a documented disability. How does this align with our current academics and class schedule? We work with the education professionals in your school to identify the transition services that are already being provided and identify any gaps where pre-ETS could support student need. When coordinating services, we ask teachers for help in identifying student participants and aligning services with students' high school and beyond plan and IEP vocational goals. We also work with teachers to identify potential workshop times that would not interrupt or disrupt scheduled academic classes. For example, some schools have scheduled workshops during homeroom or advisory hour. Some schools have scheduled guest speakers during the lunch hour or planned after-school job site tours. 
Can students participate in pre-ETS to fulfill their career and technical education graduation requirement? Pre-ETS cannot supplant or replace the school's responsibility. However, pre-ETS can be used to help support or enhance services already being provided by the schools. One example may be, you have a student interested in a welding career. DVR can coordinate an informational interview to have a business professional speak to students about education, training, and job requirements for this type of career. If interested, the student can participate in a job shadow or work-based learning opportunity to gain additional knowledge. What if a student may need more one-on-one -on -one support? Pre-ETS are intended to be delivered on a continuum and recommended for early engagement with students starting in group services during freshman and sophomore year if appropriate. If a student needs more one-on-one -on -one support and group services are not appropriate, then the student can be referred for individual VR services. Once the student is on a DVR caseload, they may receive pre-employment transition services with a community rehab program as part of their Individual Plan for Employment, or IPE. This is why it is so important to start these services as early as possible in order to identify the most appropriate path for each student's successful transition. Are all students required to participate in pre-employment transition services? No. Pre-ETs are voluntary, however, it is required to provide them the information and opportunity to participate. Research shows that students with disabilities often need more opportunities for job exploration, work readiness, and work-based learning experience to reach their employment goals. This sounds great! How do we get started? There are some important things to consider. The first step is completing the Transition Self-Assessment Tool to identify your high school service needs. If this has not been completed or you need assistance with interpreting the data, we are here to help. Once that has been completed, DVR will work with you to identify the students and services that are most appropriate and will meet the school and the students' individual needs. If pre-employment transition group services are determined to be the most appropriate path, we then collect pre-ETS information and consent forms for all student participants. Next, the school would select the workshop delivery model that best suits the school and individual needs. Finally, DVR will coordinate the services with the appropriate provider and schedule regular check-ins to continue ongoing collaboration. For more information on pre-employment transition services and how to contact your RTC and VRC liaisons, please visit our website at www.dshs.wa.gov backslash dvr backslash high dash school dash transition.